This is the plane we've come to see today, the English Electric Lightning. It was a British fighter aircraft that served from around about 1960 through the 1970s and I think they retired it in 1988, the RAF did. Uh, this plane here, looking at it, looks like it's a P1A, which was one of the basically one of the very first ones they actually developed. Um, they also did a, a P1B, but this one here is a P1A, you can tell by the nose cone. Uh, production of the aircraft were powered by uh, Mammoth Avon engines, they were Rolls-Royce engines, I think they were R24Rs. But when you put a four-stage afterburner on, they increased the maximum thrust to 14,500. Unbelievable. And the engines got so hot, uh, with twin engines in there, they had to put uh, special heat reflecting paints which contained gold to protect the aircraft structure because it got so hot. Temperatures in the back of the engine got to around about 600 Celsius. The very first one which was a uh, P1, P1A, they did a, a Lightning which was an F1. They built 19 of those. They also built an F2. 44 of these aircraft were actually manufactured. They even made training aircraft, which was a uh, T4, which was a double-seated double, uh, double -seated version for training. But what a plane. Beautiful. Sleek. Just a powerhouse of power. engines on the back it was a rocket basically a rocket with wings on beautiful design imagine the thrust out of those engines still looks good today Jeremy Clarkson's got one in his garden you know it's a real it's an icon an icon of uh, flight I mean, look at that power Showing you the undercarriage, I thought I'd just film that a minute, just showing you how light. I mean, look at the wheel, it's small, it's you know, it's just built for speed, it's like it's a stallion. There you go, one English electric lightning. <laughs> 